Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to What's Map, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bomb Bomb B and you're very, very welcome. Well, today we've got a creative take on a real life location. Now that wide river, that connects up a couple of the Great Lakes uh, up in North America. North of that river there, you have got the town of Sault Ste. Marie or Sault Ste. Marie. And to the south of it, you've got the United States. But Sault Ste. Marie is the important thing, which we will cover very shortly. But uh, yeah, if you like the Great Lakes and you like the way they come together like petals and uh, you like other things, well, maybe you should like today's show. That's right, hit the like button, really does support the channel, gets me seen by more people and helps me grow a little bit more every single day. So thank you very much for your support. Today's map is a Whitefish Shallows by S7 Hablos. S7 Hablos is from the home of City Skylines, that being Finland, where they also have lots and lots of lovely lakes. There is your start square, which looks very workable to me from up here. And what about the resources? The resources look a little bit light. Look at the ore, mostly used for painting. The main clump of ore there, that's actually quite tricky to get to, but we will get to that later, no doubt. Off to the workshop is a mass transit map. It's also apparently a park life map, although I suspect you can get away without park life. Network extensions too is also required. Springwood is the theme, but I'm also using Springwood as the LUT because I misread it. I did go back later and have a look with the correct a relight average LUT to make sure that I gave it the right star rating. But uh, yes, you're looking at it with uh, the Springwood double barrel. <laughs> Lovely. Right, okay, let's have a look and see what Hablos has provided for us. Now, this is sort of Hablos's first map, although I can't do the, the My First Maps thing because this is the updated version of his first map, or her first map, I don't know. Did I just assume their gender? Possibly. There's um, some clumpy, mount uh, clumpy islands, not mountains, are they? Clumpy islands, not too good. And there's another little bit of terrain glitching going on down here that I'm not so keen on, just to the side of the road there. But both sides are a little bit pointed. Just a little bit of smoothing tool over all of that would make it look a lot, lot better. But yes, uh, this is the updated version, although looking at the days that they were at a center. Oh, look at the arrows here. Look at the arrows. No, I want to go straight on. Thank you. I don't really want to. Let me just have a tinker here. See if I can get them going straight on. Uh, there we go. Well, that didn't take much. Yeah, that's much better. Mind you, I'm not liking the angle that it comes in at now. I'm going to try and do some fiddling, try and get it to look a little bit smoother and more believable. Uh, how about... How about that? Yes, that's a bit better. Yeah, I like that bit better. Anyway, yes. Um, so, yes, this is the updated version. Let me check the intersection while we're here. Looks very slick. Looks like it might be hand-drawn as well, which should be quite impressive. Right, that goes off all the way over there. We're going to head down along the side of the river. So, yeah, the updated version. I will get to the point in a minute. <laughs> we'll get... To, oh, hang on. Pillar. We've got some pillar issues here. I don't know what's going on with this pillar, but it's definitely a pillar issue. <laughs> right, where were we? Yes, um, this is the updated version for the fourth time. I will get there. It's... Uh, but it was updated on the same day. So there's... Well, there's actually three versions in the end of this map. But uh, I'm doing the updated version, which means, strictly speaking, slip roads, slip roads, kind of works. It'd be nice if the vanilla game had proper slip roads, wouldn't it? I would love that. Oh, and these are these Japanese walls, um, as retaining walls being used as sort of barriers on the side of the road. I like them. They're done well. Oh, look, we've got these pillars again. What's going on with these pillars? I don't know. Anyway, we'll just we'll drop one of these down. I'm not going to do both of them. But that's how it should look, guys. Just in case you didn't know what a pillar was supposed to look like. <laughs> oh, we'll just follow this along now. Uh, more terrain glitching on the sides of the roads there. Needs a smoothing tool over that as well. And uh, okay on this side, though. Very odd. So, yes, um, three versions of the same map. Uh, two of them definitely on the same day. The third one I didn't check. Uh, we're going to go back because that's a dead end. I want to get to the start square. Ignore the other pillar. It doesn't exist. <laughs> uh, 
Right, yes. Anyways, now, when you uh, go into the loading, this is a, a, a loss of a, a detailing star instantly for this, by the way, every single time, guys. Uh, the name of the map does not match the name on the workshop. When you uh, go to load up a, a new map, it won't be called Whitefish Shallows, it'd be called Sue Saint Marie. But also, please be aware that Sue Saint Marie is not spelt the way that it sounds like it's going to be spelt. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the French version, possibly. Um, come through past this intersection here. So, yes, it's more like Soult, S A U L T. And then Saint is S T E, and then a full stop or period, depending on whereabouts you are in the world. Liking those lane arrows. Excellent work there. Thank you. And lane arrows there work for me as well, actually. Shall we go down and have a look at the stars? We're liking this, though. This is very slick. This is very nice indeed. Excellent. And uh, we could... No, we'll come down here. We'll have a look down. This is the start square after all. We should have a look. We've got a weird bit of a plinth going on here. I don't know what is causing that. Definitely not me. I'm sure of that. That's the one thing I know for certain. And then if we come over here, I've got to show you this. It's a light, minor little thing. A little bit of blue mantle under the bridge there. But it's not the worst thing in the world, is it? Oh, what that? Where the heck did this come from? Ha <laughs> ha, lovely. This is... Marina Bay Sands by 75281818, which I'm certain it's got to be their mobile number. <laughs> Somebody call it for me. Actually, don't call it for me, please. Really don't want to be uh, harassing some poor soul who's unluckily enough to have that number. Anyway, um, factoids, because, oh, this, by the way, this building's in Singapore, not Dubai, which is what I incorrectly said in the Steam Weekly Chart Show. William Ireland forged a new version of King Lear and various documents supposed to have been written by Shakespeare. He surpassed himself uh, when he wrote Voltigern, which he claimed to be a lost Shakespearean play. Scholars examined it and pro pronounced it authentic. But when it was performed, it was so awful, he was booed off. Ah, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yes, I love the way we've got this curved ship on the top of this building as well. This is an amazing bit of Singaporean design. You guys in Singapore, you are quirky fellows, I must tell you. There we go, Marina Bay Sands by 75281818. That is today's asset of the day. And we'll head back down to, um, I would say ground level, but we're elevated, so go down to elevated level. I like that arrow to be going straight forward there. Merge lanes again. I'll say I like the I like the idea of going three lanes down to two lanes. Doesn't always look brilliant. I'm, I'm bouncing away around a little bit here. Let me uh, let me elevate a little bit higher. I don't want to be bouncing up and down. That's obviously following the underwater terrain, and uh, it's a little bit awkward, you know. It's especially there, it's like deep and then shallow and then hills and then back down shallow. Anyway, we should be okay now. We should be okay now. Back down at ground level. Next intersection looks like thus. Again, I think this is hand-drawn. I genuinely do. It's very slickly done. The pillars aren't shining through, which has got a little bit of glitching going on there. Not uh, not particularly pretty, but uh, not game-breaking. Most of you probably won't care too much, but I point these things out. A little bit of terrain glitching right there as well, which is just making it look a little bit weird on the side of the road. And then up towards the Fogaroonie. The Fogaroonie. <laughs> oh dear. I must be getting tired. <laughs> Making up words now. Help. Actually, I'm feeling a little bit croaky today. I feel like a little bit of a feather or something like stuck in my throat. And I'm trying to stifle at every moment during uh, this re uh, review so far. Trying to stifle a little bit of a... Um, you know those little coughs that you go... <coughs> just trying to clear. I'm, I'm trying not to do that. Okay. I hope you appreciate the effort I'm going to, this, the pain and the suffering. <laughs> I don't feel ill at all. I'm just trying to stifle this, like, I must clear my throat. I must clear my throat. Uh, this is those um, Japanese um, retaining walls again. And this is all pretty good. It's fairly steep, but not too steep. Well within believability. I think we'll let it go. Now, the rail um, could be interesting. It's not a particularly flat map. And we do have the elevated um, areas around the outside. But that said, I'm going to say that the routes that the rail takes on this map are sublime. Absolutely sublime. Makes all sorts of sense. We've got long straight lines. 
I've uh, got some slight elevation changes like here. It doesn't look like it's changing too much. But if you look here, it is moderately steep, moderately steep, but believable. So I think we'll let it go. OK, we're going to we're going to give a little bit of leeway to the newbie creator here. Right. I will follow the uh, rail around this way again. Looks pretty slick. And it's and this next bit, you'll like this. Look at the way it all comes together. That is really smart. Now we're running parallel rails along next to each other. It's all good work. It's all good work. The roots on the rail for me are a definite high point on this map. The amount of times you'll see convoluted rail lines and you go, why did it take that route? It wouldn't have. Even here, the way it splits up here, just makes sense. Should we follow this one and see what happens down here? Good to see also that the uh, the line has been cleared of trees so that we don't have any uh, overhanging branches. And this is just a, a straight line, pretty much. So we get close to the edge and then at that point we'll just bear off slightly. But it just makes all the sense in the world. And I like that. Uh, slight elevation now, but we can let that go. We're calling Zach. Zach! Do you have trouble building on steep hills? Do your buildings continually glitch into or out of the ground? Then you need the Beginner's Guide to Building on Steep Hills by Bon Bon B. Click the information button now. And we're back at the shipping routes. We have a shipping route. Look at this. It comes up this way. Now we have um, possible pillar clipping here. And I'm not entirely sure that the bridge is tall enough. It might be. It might be. But I've, I've been, I didn't have time to check. Sadly, I didn't have time to check. And didn't see any shipping come down this route during the review. So I wasn't able to watch it. So uh, we'll give a little bit of benefit of the doubt for that one. But I'm not entirely convinced. Okay, water flow. Now, the river, not the river, yeah, the... Uh, the water would flow this way if it's from the Great Lakes and it would flow through here. And you see, we have got water flow thrown through here. This is where your start square is down here at this exact location here. We've got water flow at the start square. That is great. And then the water would flow down this way and then, oh, hang on. We've got null water flow there, which means probably got water flowing back and towards us here. Edge of that water is what we have here. And somewhere down here, where is that null point? If it's not too close to the start square, we can just about ignore it, possibly. Where are we? Just going to find that, that point where there are no arrows. Where's the arrow going? Sideways. Excellent. So here. Um, it's close. It's close. I think we'll get away with it for gameplay purposes. But uh, ideally, we'd like it running off of the map, wouldn't we? So there you go. That is the shape of the map. You've got a lot of interesting topography to work with. The rivers are an interesting shape. You've got all these islands to work with as well. We've even got a dry river here. I want to show you this one. It's all a little bit bumpy though. A little bit too bumpy. I don't mind the fact that there's water in the bottom here. This makes a bit sense. But you look, it's just hollows and bumps and bumps and hollows. It kind of like looks like that bump should go into that hollow. and It would all level out at exactly at ground level, wouldn't it? Um, I do like the way that it's been plotted out though and uh, obviously drawn out with uh, with I don't know, is it sand or resources could just be sand actually I've, i didn't check but anyway this is all nice like the rock placements as well makes it kind of feel feel real and at the top here we've got the lake which tells you when it rains and it overflows that's where that water's supposed to go and if i had the time i would have tested it to see now the land isn't exactly flat i mean down here in this in the build locations it's moderately flat but there are large areas where it's all ruffled and rugged and uh, not the most city building friendly. Uh, if you've got uh, if you've got fairies, fairies would work very nicely here, I think. This is the ore that I told you wasn't the easiest to get to. It's quite raised. So if we have a little look at the terrain lines, there you go. 15 meters up in the air. So uh, you can get there if you want to do ore mining, but uh, it's it's not a not me really clever it's not gonna be pretty uh, there is a big steelworks there though in real life so at least that's based on reality i do like the idea anyway down here we've got some rivers have some little look at the rivers again 
not entirely the most beautiful, cleverly done rivers in the world, but they're not they're not horrendous by any shapes at all. And uh, and the sources are in the fog. So anyway, what do you think of this map? Is it a one star map? Is it a five star map? Is it somewhere in between? Your vote does count. We use it at the end of the month for the viewers' choice top ten. Will this be one of the top ten maps of the month? Only you can decide. But I can decide. Well, I think for aesthetics and aesthetically with the correct uh, LUT, it actually looks quite good. It does. I'm not buying it completely because it is a bit too lumpy bumpy, uh, but I'm going to I'm going to give it four. It's a low four, but it's a four. Detailing across the whole. And there is quite a lot of good stuff. I don't think it quite gets to four stars because it's just a bit shoddy. Needs a bit of polish. Three stars. Gameplay potential. It is playable. It's not easy. It is playable. That water flow could be a little bit better. Um, I'm going to give it a solid three stars. I think it could be a lot more enticing to want to play it. And of course... We have got the issue of it having the wrong name. But anyway, Whitefish Shallows by S7 Hablos. Not a bad, almost my first map. <laughs> Anyways, that's about it for done for today. I've stifled that cough for the entire show. Uh, thanks for watching, for commenting, for liking, and for subscribing. And to all the bonbon buddies over on Patreon, the new names for May, for, sorry, for June will be coming up in Saturday's show. So watch out for that one. If you're a new buddy, your name will be appearing then. Right, that's it from me. I'm going to go now. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow for another map in the What's Map series. And I'll leave you with some silence to finish. Ooh, shh.